What is something that produces more oxygen than the forests in the Amazon and regulates the climate? Need a hint? Here's two. This special something is also a source of much of the food we eat. And scientists believe it will be a source of clean energy sometime in the future. Ready to answer? The answer is... Oceans! And today, we are going to take a deep dive into why oceans are so important. So, why are oceans important? Around 97% of the Earth's water is found in five interconnected oceans. Arctic, Atlantic, Indian, Pacific, and Southern or Antarctic. But oceans aren't just huge and pretty to look at. Nope, they are so much more. Without the presence of oceans, we could not survive on Earth. Oceans are vital for our planet and for humans. Here are some ways our oceans are important and helpful. Air. First, oceans produce over half of the world's oxygen, and they absorb 50 times more carbon than the atmosphere. This helps the air to stay healthy and breathable. Climate. The ocean plays an important role in regulating the climate because it transports heat from the equator to the poles. This helps to regulate weather patterns, which in turn helps the climate. Employment. Ocean-dependent businesses employ around 3 million people all over the world, which means they rely on the ocean to maintain their jobs and employment. Medicine. Did you know that many medical products and medicines come from the sea and help people fight off diseases to stay healthy? It's true. For example, scientists have found chemicals in some corals and sponges that can help to fight infectious bacteria. Cool, huh? Food. This might seem obvious, but oceans provide a lot of food for humans and other animals. And not just seafood. Here is an interesting fact. The ingredient that makes peanut butter easier to spread comes from the ocean. Seriously. Oceans are also important because they provide transportation, especially for traded goods around the world, as well as recreation. You know, like fishing, whale watching, boating, and deep sea diving. Cool stuff like that. Wow, we really do depend on the oceans for a lot of necessary things, which means that it is super important to keep our oceans healthy. Because when the oceans are not healthy, there are long lasting impacts on our ecosystem. Right now, Scientists agree that our oceans are in crisis. Man-made factors like plastic consumption and ocean mining can cause a lot of harm to the ocean and its ecosystem and inhabitants. But never fear. There are things we can do to help stop behaviors that hurt our oceans. One of the best ways that we can help is to recycle, especially plastic. This is because over 8 million metric tons of plastic end up in the ocean each year. That is around the same amount as one garbage truck full of plastic being dumped into the ocean every minute for an entire year. Or similar to 24 Empire State Buildings filled with plastic being dumped into the ocean every year. Yuck. Plastic in the ocean creates a lot of problems. It is harmful to marine life and birds. It does not break down or decompose for a long time, which pollutes the water. And tiny particles of plastic, called microplastics, can be absorbed into the earth and cause harm to the environment. Here is an interesting fact. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is a collection of marine debris in the North Pacific Ocean. 
which is located halfway between Hawaii and California, is twice the size of the state of Texas. Making sure that the plastic you use ends up being recycled can help, as can limiting your plastic use. If you live near an ocean, you can also volunteer to collect trash and other litter along the beach. If we all work together, we can definitely make a change and protect our oceans. Now that we have a better idea about why oceans are so important, let's review. True or false? Oceans help to regulate weather patterns. True. What is something that we can recycle to help protect the ocean? Plastic. Fill in the blank. Oceans produce over 50% of the Earth's blank. Oxygen. Great job, friends. Oceans are a vital part of life on the planet Earth. Because they are in crisis, we need to do all we can to help protect them for future generations. What are some ways that you can help to preserve and protect our oceans? Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.